and we've got the Guardian now, and Prince Harry has withdrawn a libel claim. Honestly, Harry, if you're worried about your reputation being damaged, you should yeah. be suing Meghan. Please tell us more. <laughs> I, no, you can't. Don't blame Meghan for for Prince Harry. <laughs> Prince Harry went out looking for someone like May, like <laughs> Meghan. She, he wanted a girl like Meghan to do all the. Anyway, so this is in, this is in the Guardian. Prince Harry withdraws libel claim against the Mail on Sunday. On Sunday, the publisher published the Mail. It was hard to really understand this, but basically, basically, Prince Harry said to the government, "Please, I need. We need protection. Yeah, we'll pay for it. Just yeah. give us protection, please." But from the official sort of public, from the uh, official thing. public set, um, the, the, the public provide the the protection the from support, the royals. The support. So not like a, a private firm. Yeah. This is, so this he is wasn't it. asking for something for free. So he's supposedly being a great. But it's, guy. Something, it's not a service you can just buy. I couldn't be like, oh, I want a couple of yeah. bodyguards from your royal protection <laughs> service. You know, I mean, I got twenty quid here. Well, you know what? They do do that. They've been saying they want to make the protesters for the Palestinian things pay for it. So this yeah, but that's a completely a... separate issue. That's the that's to pay for the policing. But you know what? It's an interesting thing that you mention it because because maybe it's a good idea for the government to make money. They have such a hard time making money. They could they, they could set up a security firm. Yeah, there's lots of really good police people out there who are under work because they're not allowed to do their jobs. Yeah. What's what's interesting here, Paul, is that uh, so Harry was ordered to pay nearly fifty thousand pounds towards the publisher's legal bills, and uh, the Mail said that Harry would now have to face paying the newspaper's costs of £250,000, plus obviously Harry's own legal fees, which, you know, I should imagine he's, uh, he's yeah. using quite an expensive lawyer. Yeah, I think Harry's probably coming to a point in his life now where he's starting to understand money. Before, <laughs> before, before it was just, you know, bits of paper with Nanny's face on. <laughs> now, now, now he's actually got to try and find it himself, and it yeah. gets very, very expensive, this yeah. sort of stuff. And I think he's realised, particularly with this case, it's a bit frivolous. Mm. So he has said one thing somewhere, probably in a book, about how Daddy was naughty to him, and then he said something somewhere else, and they compared the two and said, Harry, they don't add up, mate. And he's gone, oh, that's liable. Yeah. So what he's realised, if someone was able to prove that, and they haven't done, if they were able to prove that, it would undermine his case, yeah. which is which he's much more interested in, which is about getting this police protection on, uh, essentially, the taxpayer's pot. Yeah. And uh, I, I think I still think he's got a job, hell's own job to do that, because, you know, whilst I, I, I do feel for him, you know, he, he's put himself in this situation, but I particularly feel for him, because he knows no better in life. He should do, but he does know no better in life. Um, He's going to. I think he's going to learn very quickly that he's not going to win that either. Yeah. Or it's not going to work out. You can't walk away from the firm yeah. and then expect the firm to pay for stuff. And also, in real life, money is hard to come by, and it goes very easily when you're you're doing these frivolous lawsuits. Yeah, I think so. So he's going to learn some harsh life lessons. <sighs>